Okay, I worked this problem out in the lecture notes and I wanted to redo it on the TI here. So I have here my TI and I'm gonna hit the stats button. And you wanna go over to tests and you wanna go down to two sample t-test. And we're gonna use stats here, this one. This over here would give you data. Um, and I'm gonna show you that later. Stats, you can see here I put in the stats for this example. I have the first X bar, the first uh, sta uh, standard deviation, the first sample size. And as we go down, you can see I've also done the second one. Now, we, on this one, our first one down here, we were testing that our sample one, which was men, we were, our alternative was that it was less than. So that's right here. I go over here, click on that. So you can see not equal to a two-tail, less than. We don't have pooled data. Don't worry about this. You're always going to have no here. And then I'm just going to click Calculate. You can see right there, there's my t-value, the same one I got there. Now this p-value, that is uh, related to this. Now I did this by the critical value method, looked up this, but if you put in this p-value into, ex I mean this uh, t-value and looked it up with a um, df of 185, you are going to get approximately this value here. Now you'll notice they have a different df. They use that complicated formula in the book that I said we're not going to bother with. We're going with a simpler method. It's a more conservative method, meaning you are more likely to uh, fail to reject. Um, so you're not going to make a mistake and you're not going to reject something you shouldn't. But it's close enough. Um, the values are very comparable. And so you can see that's given us the same answers. Now, what about this confidence interval down here that I got? Well, I can also get that through this. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to quit. Come on, click. I want to get out of here. I'm going to go back to stats. I'm going to go over to test. But now I'm going to go down here, and I want a two-sample T interval. So up here, to do the first test, I wanted a two-sample T test. Now I want a two sample T interval. So this one right here, again, stats. My stats will transfer, so I didn't actually input these twice. It's really pretty nice. Once you input, they, they will go from one to one. I didn't realize that until I did this one. I was like, ooh, that's really nice. Now uh, my confidence interval here, I wanted to 0.98 here, until I've already been in here messing with this. So 0.98, just like I did right here, I figured that out. I wanted a 0.98 since I wanted 0.01 on each side. Again, pooled, no, calculate. And it's going to think this one will be a little bit slow. And you can see right there, that's approximately what we got, negative uh, 2,437 to 13.43. But again, it's slightly different because the DF is slightly different because they're using that more complicated. But they're close enough. Either answer is fine. Um, the book is using the more simpler method, but it will usually also list the tech answers as well. Um, but you can see we got the same results. It did it pretty smoothly and pretty quickly for you.